It's coming. You can see the arrow is coming up. No! Woo! Boom! Man, swim! I mean, it's directly on its side. I'm afraid it's gonna fall on me. <laughs> you know, all things considered, it doesn't look that old. Man, she's driving right out of there. Yo! Get that away from me. No! I just. No! Oh. Come here, Mitch. <laughs> we pulled a vehicle out of the water. We just wanted an officer to come check it out. You guys wanna see how we got this Jimmy out of the river? Stick around, it's gonna be great! I'm Adam Brown. And I'm Jeremy, AKA Nug. We search the rivers and lakes across America for wrecked vehicles underwater. You wouldn't know it by just looking, but there's thousands out there, and everyone tells a story. Insurance fraud, stolen, accidents. It's our mission to search for the missing, find vehicles, and remove them from harming our environment. This is Wrecked and Recovered. Man, this weather sucks. <laughs> I am not a fan of working in the rain. It uh, it's not pouring rain. What's funny is like all week it's been sunny and boiling hot. And then today, the day we want to go pull some cars, that's it opens up. Chattanooga, yo, Tennessee, well, I hear. I, I like Chattanooga, man. It's, it's a cool place. Parts of it. The drivers aren't much to talk about. Hey, I, 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 we both got flipped off twice. Yeah, got flipped off by a lady. I <laughs> uh, got cut off by a semi truck and some big ugly truck. That truck that like cut me off too decided he's just gonna go on the other side of the interstate, mid interstate. And I'm laying on my horn too. I use my horn a lot on this trip. So last time we were here, we pulled out a Honda Odyssey, right? Yeah. A minivan, minivan. Sucker, sucker van. It's been a while, actually. Um, Think about it. But we also found two other vehicles here. I actually found three, maybe even four, but two of them are like... You know, there might be a fresh one when we get out here. There could be. I know there's like remains of a very old, a couple very old cars. And then we got two newer cars, the truck yeah. being the newest. So what are we pulling out today? The truck or the, was it Blazer? I think it's the Blazer. There's an upside down car. Oh, Jesus. Man, you get air riding this thing. Yep. You done bouncing all over the place? You come here often? I don't, I really don't. <laughs> I, I wouldn't leave my house if I didn't have to. So uh, let's get out here to the boat ramp, check her out. Hopefully they're still there, because we did report these already. Ain't um, nobody gonna pull these out. It costs too much money. Probably not, but that's we, where we come along, so. Yeah, we do it just for the fun of it. Well, let's go get these cars out the river. <laughs> What a beautiful day. Hey, the rain's clearing up a little bit, man. There's uh, there's nothing going on weird about, look how much. Listen, we have to address. What, 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 oh, We're gonna have to oh, address this immediately. Th this? This giant thing hanging off your chest. I, I, I barely noticed it. I mean, see, it, it, yeah. <laughs> He's, he, I, I guess you left your GoPro at home or somewhere. Look, look, It's gone. Right. You got the GoPro. We got that camera. And now we have my little camera. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the people Hopefully this think. this episode looks good. Let us know in the comments what you guys think. Like whose but, camera uh, was better? Little inside challenge. I think this one will be better. That is going to die in like five minutes. So no. Matter. No. That's amazing. Lick it. I don't want to. Oh, okay. Lick it. <laughs> All right. Let's get down here. Okay. Check out this water. I mean, she looks kind of clear, even though the, like <laughs> it's raining a little bit. She looks really clear. I think it's gonna be a marvelous day. I mean, yeah, looks pretty good, actually. Anyway, no problem, no problem. I mean, I wish the sun was out. Well, I think the sun's gonna come out here in a little bit. Ah, I like your optimism. Do you? Yeah. If you know anything about Tennessee, yeah. you know that couldn't be farther from the truth. I think the water's up a little bit. A little bit. Remember that one time we was here, all this sand was showing. Yeah. we got pulverized by there are some giant boats that come flying through here that you would not expect it's a big river this would be a perfect perfect river for a but a big nice beautiful inflatable all right so let's get the boat out find these cars see if they're still here maybe there's a new one out here man do you think the boat's gonna float with all that crap in it yeah we're just gonna go for it huh yep all right <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, hey there. Hi. Just got, enjoying this ride. Got any words of wisdom? Don't fall in. <laughs> you ready to dive, man? I was born ready. I know you're excited. You can see my face. <laughs> All right, so here's the question. Are the cars still here? Oh yeah, right where we left them. And they're pretty close to each other, right? Yeah, they're right next to each other. It's like they're right on top of each other. I bet you there's more cars right here, there's gotta be. Well, we really haven't scratched the surface. I bet Chattanooga has a lot more. So uh, we're pretty much gonna mark on whichever one we can hit because they're right by each, other, by each other. Yeah, I mean, we could put one buoy on it and we know where both the cars are, so we really yeah. ain't gotta deal with it too much. How deep is it? It was at 20 feet, now we're at 7 because there's a huge rock right there. How do you say it? Huge. 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 You know what's funny, it's like 20, 30 feet, there's a huge rock right here, and there's a rope swing right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, whee, blah, broken lag, broken leg. We're going to put in this giant magnet, hook it on the car, so we have an easy guide rope down. It's Jeremy's diving. Hey, what? Uh, it's too scary. Hey, the good thing is there's no boaters really out today because it's not great weather. It's also, what, Thursday? It did. is. It Some is people Thursday. are at work. Yeah, I'm at work. We're at play. No, no, no. This is work. This is no work at all. Seems like work. Man, that's a big old rock. Look at that thing. Seems like, it was like a hard day's of work. You better watch where you're going. It looks fake. Just like your face. I think these rocks are a conspiracy. The government lies. There is something wrong with you. I thought everybody knew that. That's definitely one of them. Which is good because it's a straight shot the boat ring. Yeah. So we just pull it right in and be done with it. The bad thing about uh, this spot is the steep drop off right there. Yeah, but we had to that run. way, this way, I mean, I'd be all right. And we're floating the car, so whatever. Yeah, if they float, we should be golden, man. This might be, dare I say, our Don't say easiest it. Don't recovery say it. yet. It'll be here all night. <laughs> have to turn all the lights on and stuff. Oh, man. That's got to be the car. Drop it off. Should be right on top of it. Actually, I'm right on top of it, so I'll back up a little bit. Uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, I think that's it. That was it? Yeah, feels like it. All right, well, there you go. That's it. That, is, that is definitely easy. Almost like you've done this before. Man, you know, I'm getting the hang of it. I don't care what anybody says. Denae. All right, you think she'll reach, man? Yeah, I think so. I mean... You think that's like 200 feet? I think it's a little less. I think it's like 100 and 170. That's what I think. Well, it's about how tall are you? Four feet? Let's say four times. Man, I'm a solid <laughs> five. It's like seven. it's like 50 Jeremy's. <laughs> Man, y'all need to. Hit, you, mm, that's a, you, 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 this, you make fun of my disability, all right? <laughs> is that, is it, you know, I've, I've 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 been places. You can't help that you were born this way. Look, just because I can't ride half the rides of Magic Mountain doesn't mean nothing. All right. <laughs> Whatever. What are we doing next? I'm already, I'm already in a fog here. All right, man, we got everything hooked up, magnets there. Uh, you know what time it is, right? Nope. Sexy montage, go! Oh yeah. Oh, you gotta go slow. All right, you got everything? Probably not. Make this fast, man. Well, the quicker we get done, the quicker we can go eat a burger. I actually don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. You're just gonna dive and hook a rope on it? You're just gonna dive and hook a rope, yep. And then you're gonna hook the bags. Oh, we need tanks. We need how many tanks? Well, for right now, I need one. Eventually, we're gonna need two more. No one is pitying you in this in in the comments. Yeah, everybody pities me. Everybody say one nice thing about Nug. Look, our boat's going away. We could we could uh, sell jars of your sweat. Somebody would buy it. What if somebody like had like their prize begonias and they used my sweat to to, to water it 
and and it grew into some weird mutated plant like it's like kill me yeah! <laughs> like, what's wrong with this plant <laughs> All right, so not too far, but a little bit of distance, but I mean, that could be way worse. So I mean, it's a little bit deep, but I mean. The boat ramp, the deep I don't care about, but the boat ramp has a huge ledge at the end of it. Like it's not just dirt, it yeah. dro drops off yeah. a bit. So the car is probably gonna come right to that. To and that gonna, wall. It's gonna get hung up. Like boom. And then we're gonna have to figure out how to. Uh, well, even if it's floating, it's, still gonna, it's still gonna hit a little bit. If we could just get it over this ledge, we can roll the car, you know, right here in the water. Yeah. Hit the, the van. Yeah. But I just don't know how much. I imagine it's it's not gonna be deep enough. It's still gonna run into that, the bottom of the boat ramp. So we'll probably get it as close as we can, and then uh, I don't know. Try to start pulling on it. See if we can roll it up. Well, if it's upside down, it'll kind of help. It might just, it might come up easier than we think. As this, as long as we can get it floating, that's the key. It'll float. So let's go check it out. Mm. All right, so you're gonna put this loop on first. You gonna be able to do all that? Probably not. That's uh, gonna be a tight squeeze, but. Are you ready? You good? So Jeremy's down there right now. How are we looking? We good? You got enough line? I'm going to the front of the GMC right now. Oh, there it is. Okay. Roger that. How are we looking down there, man? Okay, I've got it cut off. I'm going to come back up for the first bag. Copy that. <laughs> man, that took forever. I couldn't find a place to tie the bag on, or the rope. So these are the good ones. <laughs> Non-broken. And that's off, right? You got it? Yeah. There's a little bit of air still in the bag.
All right, so Jeremy's in the water right now, hooking up that bag. It had a little bit of air in there, so it makes it a little difficult to pull down. And these are some big, beefy bags. Sub salve uh, hooked us up with these bags. These things are amazing. They can pull so much weight. Uh, we did push this one to the limit <laughs> last time in that Impala, because uh, that thing was like concrete, full of mud. Uh, these should be pretty easy. These should work fine, because I don't think they're that full. They shouldn't, they, and they're upside down, so they should float pretty easy, and we should be able to get these out with a little bit of luck. Copy that. <laughs> Easy peasy. I purged the air at the top for you a little bit. Was it heavy to pull down? Uh, I couldn't get it until you did that. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully this one works. If not, it's gonna be a little more interesting. Woo! It's actually a pretty good day for this, man. Turned out to be. Mm. I might need help with this one too. All right. Copy that. I got the hoses ready, so uh, as soon as we get up here, we can start filling these bad boys up. There you go. It's not full of mud, like, right? That's no idea. We'll find out. So Jeremy's hooking uh, this two lines, one to each bag, and then we're gonna fill it up here and hopefully, hopefully uh, everything works. All right, the uh, are hooked up to the bag. All right, Jeremy just said the air hoses are hooked up, so he should be coming up. We'll see what happens. All right. Now what? Um, are we right over the car? Right of it. We can let some slack off and float a little bit and then fill it up. All right, man. Ugh. Are you ready? It's just gonna float up nice and gently. Dude, well, worst case, if it starts going, we'll just pull the boat over to a tree. It's not gonna just start going. I say fill it up. I don't see any bubbles yet. You would have thought it would have came up by now, though. Man, the suspense doing these is so... <laughs> so much suspense. I think they're coming. I think they're coming, man. Look, it's coming. You can see the air hose coming up. No! Woo! Boom! That's just the rubber. All right, I'm gonna reverse now. Are they leaking air? Ooh. You have to go that way, dude. I think it's moving. A little bit. Man, that's so cool, look at that. It's turning.
Man, swim! So the drop off is like right there. Drop off is worth that bag. So the front of the car is what's sitting right there at the edge of the drop off. Yeah. Show is. I think we should pull it out. Think so? Yep. So we're gonna need a cable. Okay. And a dream. Nah, that's easy. <laughs> Cause I didn't even realize I could stand on that thing. So oh I yeah. I need to suit up. If it just goes right, I don't need to put anything on. So we know it's a blazer for sure, right? I'd put my money on it. It's a GMC Blazer. Definitely GMC, maybe Blazer. Like Jimmy? You know them Jimmy's? A Jimmy. Uh, sure. All right. Sounds good to me. All right, let's get this cable out. Oh, do you want to hook uh, both lines on? I know this one's shorter. Just do the one cable right now. We'll Get it to where? Okay. okay. We'll, we'll turn it sideways. Woo! Camera ready? That's my hair. Uh, yeah. You I look, look, I look good, don't I? You look, you look like a face for radio, man. That's it. <laughs> the gloves are coming off now. Oh, well, then pull. Oh, that's easy, actually. You got this. I'm so close. Just inhale the water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's supposed to be hard. Oh! I'm tired. I'm tired of touching my nether, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. He's just standing on it. It drops off right down there like 30 feet, so it's pretty, uh. Floating definitely helps. You got it? It, yeah, more. more? Okay. What are you doing? Shut up! I'm trying to stop feeling. Soak it on, man. <laughs> you want? Hey, you want to unhook that? Don't pop the bag, man. It's not. It's, it's not turning. It's back. Should I keep going? Yes. What's going to happen? If we break it, it's on you. Oh, there it goes. Three. <laughs> man, we need to put the other line on. We're just going to turn it around doing the same thing. <laughs> it's hard to fly. Is it? Uh, you want to do a J-hook? Let's get, let's do another J-hook with that cable and I'll hook it on the front of this one. All right. I hope so. Oh, there's an orange rope. Ah! I can walk that one. <laughs> Backwards tightrope with this thing. Ah! Ah! Oh, one foot. Oh, there's a car. I can feel this car moving. Very weird. I can see it. It's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> hope it don't fall on me. I hope it don't fall. <laughs> Oh shit! Woohoo! Pull this one. Alright, now, now loosen that one. Loosen? Yeah, I'm gonna hook it up here. Mm. 
more. Turn loose! It's not staying loose. See how it's floating away? Is it gonna fall in the bag? Did it deflate the bag? I take him off now. <laughs> All right. Stop. Ooh. A car rolling over on me. <laughs> It's like on its side. I'm afraid it's gonna roll over on me. Is the car falling? Huh? Is it falling down? I mean, it's directly on its side. I'm afraid it's gonna fall on me. <laughs> I can't get him unhooked, but should be all right. Oh no! The line came off. Go hook that one on again, just in case. Thank you. I'm doing. Okay. You good now? See what happens. It's flipping. There she goes. It's about to go. I'm pulling that one. This one might have came off. I can't tell you. Keep pulling it. Just keep pulling it. You know, all things considered, it doesn't look that old. So this works. That should swing it around. You want to swing it, pull it out straight? Yeah. I mean, just keep that one. Just keep tension on that one, but don't pull on it. Get it up a little bit more where I can switch the hooks out on the front. Switch the hooks? Okay. Bro, there's something floating out of the back of it. Dude, this headliner is falling out. So we got it pulled out. Seat belts are not done up. I don't see anybody strapped into this thing. I don't think it's that full of uh, mud, but it definitely has a lot of water in there. We'll slowly drain this thing out. Hold up. Ooh. That's not yours? No, I don't oh. think so. It's too short. All right, loosen this one. Get your way. I don't know. Keep pulling that one. Steering wheel fall off? Yeah. Every one of them. Every time. Fish is driving right out of there. It's a Jimmy! What? A Jimmy! A Jimmy? Oh, great. Right. Hmm, nice. <sighs> The 96 GMC Jimmy is a compact SUV with a blend of rugged design and versatile functionality. With a powerful V6 and four-wheel drive, it offered capable off-road performance. The spacious interior and user-friendly features made the Jimmy a popular choice for those seeking both urban convenience and outdoor exploration. Are you good? Yeah. Uh, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I can't get this damn, I can't get this hook off yet. You can't get it hook off? Not yet. He is coming, look at that girl. 
Look at her go. Yeah, it's a thing of beauty to see him come out of the water. Alright, uh... Oh no! Oh, you need some now, huh? Alright, I think we got her. Alright. Well... I don't see nobody in here. Yeah, that's a good thing. Key's in it. It's in drive. It's not the worst condition. No, that's... I've seen way worse. Yeah, I mean the roof's a little smashed in. We used airbags this time, so I mean... Oh, we still need to wash it out, man! No, we actually never lift the hood. I know, that one's loose. It'll come right off if you lift it from the back. Blue? Yeah, that's blue. It's like a dark, dark blue. Dang. I want to see that, man. I want to see that blue car. But I was right. Jimmy. Right. Oh, dead on. Is that what you said? Yeah, that's what right. he said. He said Jimmy. So we need to get the door open. I have a crowbar. Might do the trick, might not. Worst case, we'll just use the uh, J hooks. Give me a little bit. Just pulling the whole car. Spot. Them latches are strong, man. Hold on. Can't see it. Put it anywhere. Call the police, but we're still trying to get this door open to see if there's a thing. I don't see one from the looks of this. Lord knows I do. I got a, I got an inkling. Man, every time I think we got the right tool for the job. Did it work? Oh, dude. Come on. Not yet, huh? Dude, it's so close. I really hate that thing. Told you. <laughs> now, was it worth it? There's some st sticker right here. But That's so. it. That's it. Ugh. Is that it? That's it. Yeah, we just clean them up raw without destroying it. There's a vent in there somewhere. You can almost see the mileage on this thing, but maybe we can break that glass and get the mileage. I would guarantee you could. It must be a digital mileage. Must be. Dude, this thing was going 60 miles an hour when it hit the water. So it says. So we got a few things in here. There is a key in there. I don't know if the key's gonna come out. We got some. We got some pliers here. 
We got some uh, floor mats, steering wheel. Let's see if there's anything in the center console. Ooh, it looks kind of empty. Ew, nothing. Man, no change. What is that? It's something like taped up in electrical tape. It's kind of weird. We gotta check. We gotta get inside that uh, glove box. So uh, while I'm wrapping this up, I'll give you a little history. Back in the 1820s, uh, the pilgrims, you know, they would hide their gold in uh, duct tape and uh, bury it under trees. I don't think that's right. And uh, no, no, it's true. I read this in a book. Mm -hmm. I swear, I swear, I wouldn't lie to you. They, they had electrical tape back then. Yeah, yeah. Except they called it something different. You know, it, was, it wasn't duct tape because you know ducks were kind of like they was they worshipped the ducks back then. So they didn't, they didn't call it duct tape. They called it turkey tape. I don't think that's accurate. I you be looking out there. I swear to God, I tell you what, I learned that in school, public school, but still. What is it? Uh huh. Just a piece of nothing. Just a just a piece of metal. I was hoping it'd be something cool like it's a price, knife it's or somebody's like murder weapon, and we're just like playing with it. Oh, it's a weird thing to do. A weird tape. I'm just gonna wrap it up used this. Used to be a knife. Let's it's probably bust. some dark, sinister thing, and we just ruined it. Let's go bust open the glove box. Did you open the center console already? Nothing. Hey, pop that door open. It's sure it's easy. Yeah, that's what I heard. Let's use the handle. I bet the handle works. Man! You done broke it, it. You done broke it, it, my nose. All right, hold up. I, I can't help myself. I'm already trying to talk. Okay. Could have been funny though, like pop. Oh, ooh, grab that. Grab what? The book. Book. It's falling out. Right there. You're not gonna grab it? It's, it, it, it's okay, I'll well, grab it. Well, that's like the goodie box. Let's hold on, damn it. Hold on, hold on. There we go. I think that's the, uh, Manual. Yeah, well, it's like the booklet that holds all the, like, the stuff you buy the car with. I mean, it had the info, all the information in it, but What's that? I don't know. I guess it's where the owner's manual goes. But you can look inside there. You see the GMC logo, but everything else is destroyed. That's probably all the paperwork he got when he bought it. Just left it in there. Maybe insurance. Yeah. I don't see anything else. No goodies, huh? There is never goodies. Well, that one time we found now, some I mean some random stuff. I mean some real goodies. No, like gold bars or safes. Well, the only kind of real treasure. You can still use this today. I'm trying to be like Jeremy. This is a secret uniform for the Illuminati uh, back from 1976. You better be careful. <laughs> they, they no joke, man. They'll, they'll, they'll this, find you. If you put this on and do the secret handshake, you can get in any locked door. But if you use the wrong handshake, you will instantly Here, turn so, to stone. Get that away from me. No, so, I just, no. So if you just put it on, like so. oh. come here, Mitch. What are you coughing for? Yeah, this thing. All right. Red Bank Police and Fire, this is Chris. Can I help you? We pulled a vehicle out of the water. It's, it's empty, it's unoccupied, but we just wanted an officer to come check it out and maybe run the van and take a look at it. And what type of vehicle is it? It's a GMC Jimmy. 96, I believe, is the year. All right, what color? Blue. All right, does it have a tag on it still? No tag, but we got the VIN. All right, I do have the Sheriff's Department on the way to you there at the, the boat ramp. I don't know exactly how long it's gonna take him to get to you. It looks like he's kind of coming off the mountain. Um, just hang out there, and if anything changes before they get there, give us a call back, okay? Okay, no worries, appreciate it. Thank you, bye. Bye. All right, so uh, they're on the way. And we'll see what they say when they get here. Hopefully we can find out some more information about this thing. How's it going? Oh, well, Joel, oh yeah. Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy GMC. Yeah. Yeah, it's a few years. <laughs> That's the uh, sticker we got off the door. Does it look burned to you? No. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. The key's still in it. I mean, really? Mm-hmm. This is actually the second one we pulled out of here. We pulled a, a, a Honda, like a van, Honda Odyssey, a couple months ago. 
pretty much what we do, we go around and try to clean them up out of the water. Oh, okay. Are y'all like compensated through TWRA or something? Uh, we're private. We just do documentaries, so we make our oh, money through like our, our videos online. It's kind of just for fun at this point, try to help, help clean up the water. Sure. Uh, um, so we're at in relation to the river, y'all find it? Straight off the boat ramp, 200 feet. 200 feet off the boat straight, ramp. Straight, straight, yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, that's the VIN. I think I already read that. Did it come up stolen at all, do you know? No, not what not what my dispatcher has, but uh, is it over here on the door or the firewall? The VIN? Yeah. Well, I got it here with the sticker. We just pulled it off, but it's that number right there. Kind of hard to see, but... There wasn't a... The one up under the windshield is gone, it looks like. Is it? I don't think that... Uh -huh. That plate might be croated off. It appears that this has been scraped off. Really? Yes, sir. I wouldn't be surprised. You would have thought they would have taken the sticker off the door one, though. How about it, Sarge? How about it? How's it going? The VIN, the VIN plate on the firewall has been the letters and numbers have been wore off by the water. Well, the thing's been burnt. Yeah, it looks like it's made. Yeah, it used to be blue. <laughs> How'd y'all find it? This is kind of what we do. <laughs> we, uh, well, we came out here a while ago and found, you know, a bunch of cars. We dove on them and, and then we decided to come back. We pulled a minivan out last time we was here. And then there's one more that we plan on pulling out tomorrow. And then this boat ramp will be clean again. What time's it? F-150. Yeah. Was it right side up? It was upside down, we pulled it out. We rolled it on the boat ramp. Were the windows out of it or did... That I one... Think a couple of them broke on the way out. Yeah, the driver's side was down the whole time. It should open. It we, should we just open yeah, It should just go right up. Okay, Julian. After the William... I'm get my heat pan out here. Okay. It's going to be nine. So it's William Nine. Yeah. It's not stolen. Yet. <laughs> so we just found a sunk car. Well. Uh, what company is it y'all are with? Uh, wrecked and recovered. Wrecked and recovered. Yeah. Hey, uh, we're, all we're doing is waiting on the wrecker company to get here. They're gonna hook it and okay. we're out of here. If CID wants to follow up on it, I, I don't know. We're, they're not gonna come out tonight, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. So what I've done is I put my name and badge number with case number on here in case okay. any questions you're asked. If you need that for your records, good. that's the report number. Okay. I I'm going to be over here keeping mosquitoes off of me. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, clearly it's the next day. We ran out of light yesterday, but we were successful once again. Yeah, I mean, it's all, all things considered, it wasn't the worst time. The bags worked, yep. sub-salve came through, the bags worked out. We didn't have to lift a 20,000 pound power wagon from the 70s. <laughs> full so, of concrete. Yeah, full of concrete <laughs> and bricks. So this was fun. It worked. So now what? Now we are going to pack up and go, but next episode, we're going to be pulling out another one from right here. So right in the same spot. So technically it's going to be a part two. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a truck though. It's a, that's, that's the, it's a big truck with a camper on it. Not this camper, a no. shell. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, if you guys want to, if you don't want to miss that, you got to subscribe to the channel well, yeah. and, um, I think it's going to be a fun time. I think it is too. So like and subscribe, hit that bell. Yep. And let's go. Rectumrecover.com for amazing merch. You want to help support us out? We really appreciate it. Mm, that's good stuff. Yeah. Man, you should be doing this for a living. I know, right? Okay, I'm leaving. All right, see you guys on the next one.
Man, what are you wearing? It's my girdle. Your girdle? I'm gonna keep my form. <laughs> There's actually, this one to keep my pew pew. Put it here, and I'll pull it out back. Like, but I don't think anybody would take you serious. They right? will.